Hi, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video called Notary Signing Agent. It's a no for me. If you watched it, thank you. Um, it got a little over 100 views. And for someone like me, that's a, that's a big deal. But I got to thinking while in that video, and if you haven't watched it, check it out. Um, I got to thinking, although I explained why I made the choice to stop performing um, loan signings and working as a notary signing agent specializing in real estate transactions, I didn't explain or talk about what I do like to do at any level of detail. So that's what this video is about. I'm going to do my best not to put you to sleep. My name is Michelle Riley. I am in Alabama, notary public. I've been commissioned for 18, 19 years, part of that time. Um, I've been um, doing this as a business. Um, I did it for a while in Jefferson County. Now I'm doing it in Madison County and um, I'm still passionate about it. So we're gonna be talking about general notary work and it is frequently referred to as GNW. So if you see those initials, it's talking about general notary work. Let me share my screen. Um, and I've got just seven quick reasons why this type of notary work is for me, hands down. Reason number one is time schedule. As a mobile notary or traveling notary who performs general notary work, I'm in control of when I work and when I don't work. I set my schedule. That's not often true for notary signing agents. Um, they're pretty much told when an appointment has been set and it's expected that the signing agent will be available at that time or the work goes to someone else. But as a mobile notary who is self-employed, um, I get to decide when I want to accept an appointment or not. Uh, members from the general public will call, let me know what they need done, and then I let them know when I am available. Now, if I'm not available, I can refer it to a colleague, another mobile notary, um, or just pass on it all together. And this works really well. For me, I do have a nine to five job. Um, so I'm not available during that time frame. And so I leave my evenings and weekends open in order to schedule appointments. So again, I like that flexibility. The second reason why I enjoy general notary work uh, over signing, being a notary signing agent is that I have more control over what I get paid. Let me explain. Um, as a mobile notary or traveling notary, um, we set our own fees. However, there is um, some requirements in the state of Alabama. Our legislators dis decide how much the notary fee will be so if you were to call me and say, Michelle, I need my signature notarized, I'm going to ask you for the name of the form or the type of form. I'm going to ask you how many signatures are required. And then I apply Alabama's um, statutory notary fee, which is $10 per each notarial act. So every form has a certain number of acts. I know that sounds a little foreign for some of you, but um, we'll get into the details of that later. 
maybe this will help. If you're familiar with the Alabama marriage certificate form, it requires the couple, two individuals, to sign that form and be placed under oath. That document consists of four notarial acts. And so by someone calling me and telling me they want me to notarize two signatures on the Alabama marriage certificate form, I know off the bat that that's going to be four acts times 10. We're looking at $40 that I can charge as the Alabama notary fee. Now, since I don't have an office, I'm going to need to get in my car and drive to meet the customer, the individuals. And so I can charge a travel fee to help cover my expenses. It needs to be reasonable fee. It needs to be agreed to beforehand so that the customer has the opportunity to say yes or no. So again, there is some subjectivity there I say that because I can choose, even though that Alabama marriage certificate uh, requires or consists of four notarial acts, I can choose to charge the customer for two acts or no acts. I can do it for free. So that's the flexibility I'm talking about. More than once I've arrived at an appointment only to find out that this is a home where there is not a lot of um, extra money. And so while I quoted on the phone a fee of $50 total fee, maybe when I got the, when I arrived and saw the situation and maybe saw that the customer wanted to pay with coins, I can say, you know what? no charge whatsoever, or instead of a $50 total fee, my fee today is only $25. So that's the flexibility that mobile notaries have that signing agents do not have. The third reason why I like being a mobile notary or a traveling notary is that there is flexibility and where the notary meets the signer. Um, we talk again, most of the time it's a phone call or an email that I get requesting services. In addition to me asking about the form, I ask, where do you want to meet? Sometimes they will say their home. And then I ask for a zip code, I already know what my fee is for different zip codes. They may be in a hospital. I already know that if I go to Huntsville Hospital, there's going to be parking fees associated with that visit versus going to Crestwood Medical Center where parking is free. So the location could be a public space. So um, if for whatever reason, I'm a little unsure about um, going to a particular area or um, if I'm questioning safety, I can suggest that we meet at a Starbucks or Panera Bread. So again, the notary um, has a lot to say as to where we meet, where notary signing agents are typically told where the customer wants to meet. And it is usually at the customer's home. Now, let me say this, I have um, only once in all these years felt unsafe in someone's home. Um, I won't get into the details of that in this video, but I've been in, I'm sure, thousands of homes, literally, and um, 
always felt comfortable, but I know that's not true for some mobile notaries. So it's great to be able to use your judgment and uh, come together with the customer to decide where's the place that both the customer and the notary are comfortable meeting. The fourth reason why um, I am stuck on being a mobile notary, traveling notary is because of the individuals that are served. Here's what I mean. Call them customers, signers. Um, these are members of the community that need a notary service. And what I really love is that you have an opportunity to meet so many people from different walks of life. Sometimes you may be going to a hospital. Sometimes you may going, be going to a wealthy neighborhood. Other times you are going to an underserved neighborhood. Um, it really is across the board. You get to meet so many different members of the community. Um, I like that because, um, one, I enjoy meeting people, interacting with people from all walks of life, and I've learned so much um, about my community by doing that. Um, I'm trying to think right now of someone that um, really changed. I'll hit that on another slide. In addition to meeting with a variety of different people, you're going to see as a notary who specializes in general notary work, a variety of forms. It may be a paternity affidavit where the mother of a newborn is naming the father of her child, of their child. Um, it may be a Alabama marriage certificate, divorce documents, adoption forms, surrogacy forms, um, a last will and testament. We never know what the request is going to be until we're on the phone scheduling the appointment and then ultimately arriving at um the signer's location. Um, again, I like that variety with notary signing agent work. You're, you're typically seeing um, the same type of forms, um, mostly dealing with real estate matters, um, refinancing uh, a home, um, modifying a loan, buying property, selling property. Um, there's some variety, but it doesn't come close to the different types of documents you'll see as a mobile notary public. The sixth reason why I enjoy general notary work is the respect and appreciation that I receive as a notary. Really, hands down, the customers, their family members are thrilled. Many of them didn't realize until they needed a mobile notary that there's even this type of service. I hear that over and over. I had no idea. Yeah, we've been around for years. Yes, it's a great service, especially when you have someone who is homebound and unable to travel, but yet they have important documents that need to be signed and notarized, um, that appreciation that they feel carries over to them referring us to other family members, leaving a great rating on our website or our Google business listing, um, which is great. I mean, if, if you're someone who is motivated by that type of positive feedback, like I am, 
it really is uh, rewarding work. Believe it or not, we're already down to number seven, the seventh reason why I stick with mobile notary work is when comparing it to being a notary signing agent, there's far less equipment and costs associated. Keep in mind, um, most notaries just get their commission and they notarize for friends, for family, maybe at work, and they have their seal and they have a journal, those who are smart or wise, even though it's not required, in Alabama, it is definitely recommended. So a mobile notary will need the same and just a few more things. We will need our official seal. We're gonna need a journal to keep track of where we've been and the forms that we've notarized, um, a receipt book. Um, you're going to need a reliable car, trans for transportation, you are going to also need, I know I'm missing something, um, a printer. And it doesn't have to be the very large expensive printer that notary signing agents need. It definitely needs to be a laser printer. There will be times, not frequent, but there will be times when the customer, especially if they're hospitalized, may say, hey, Michelle, my lawyer just drafted a power of attorney document. I'm in the hospital. Can he email that to you to print and bring to the hospital so that I can sign and you can notarize it? And so uh, without a doubt, mobile notaries who have access to a printer or a fax machine can offer additional services other than just notarizing the signature and similar to charging a reasonable fee for travel, a notary can charge a reasonable fee for printing or faxing or mailing the finished documents. So there are more reasons, but I said I want to stop putting people to sleep with my long videos. But again, this hopefully gives you a better understanding of why I am team mobile notary, team general notary work. Um, it keeps me out in the community. Every appointment is going to be different from the last appointment. And I've met some wonderful people over the course of the years. I want to leave you with this slide. Performing general notary work, I am reminded every day that I am first and foremost a public servant and that everything else comes second. This is something that I feel gets lost over time, um, especially when the focus is on how much money can I make? I need to make six figures. Um, the focus sometimes, not all, not for all signing agents, but for some, um, the focus is on the business. And when your eye is focused on the business, it can influence and spill over to fees and how you treat the signer and the appointment. And um, general notary work will humble you, absolutely. Um, and um, I need to be humbled from time to time. I think a lot of us do. Those of you who are thinking about becoming a Alabama notary and need some help and guidance, um, I published a book. It's an ebook. Um, it's not available in paperback just yet. Getting started as an Alabama notary public, it captures 
the new revised process notaries and aspiring notaries must follow to get their commission initially and or to renew their notary commission. It's a guide to a notary commission here in Alabama. Um, that is on Amazon. It's a Kindle ebook. Check it out if you think you will find it helpful. You can also click the channel description, get my contact information if you just have questions that about the commission process that you think I can help with. I also want to hear from you if you have suggestions and ideas about what my next rant should be about. I like to keep it related to being a commissioned notary in Alabama, but if you would type it in the comments or send me a message and I'll be happy to put that in an upcoming rant. I want to thank you for giving me another opportunity to share what I've learned by being a Alabama Commission notary. And I look forward to ranting with you again next time. Have a great day.